We've got a situation. Hi guys, Alex here, and today we've got a doozy. So today we are here to react to Amber Lynn's first weekly vlog of 2020. This one's called Faking My Way In, Walk With Me, and Opening Up. And I am super excited. Our girl seems to be on track, right? The way in wasn't fake, y'all. You have to believe it. So let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? Hey guys. So hey, Amber Lim. A lot of people were saying you shouldn't trust a habitual liar, but what Amber Lim said made sense, right? So it is nighttime right now. I am so frustrated. I vlogged yesterday. I vlogged today. I was about come on down to Pillow Mountain to edit my videos before I, but before I do obviously I was using my camera so but first I have to upload those videos onto either my MacBook or onto my phone and that is where I will edit the videos but I don't know if what happened girlfriend they're all corrupted uh for the last three hours I have been trying to figure out why they're not uploading to either my phone or the macbook so i hate this because i tried to do my vlog a little bit different i showed more of what i'm doing i talked about different subjects like i'm just pretty mad about it and there's literally nothing i could do i feel like it's unfortunate to set your vlog off on a negative tone you have to start it in the positive girl because we know you're on track now so hi uh i'm just hi how are you welcome back to my channel <laughs> frustrated i feel like all the work that i put into those videos are just like going down the drain um it's been three hours of just like stress and frustration we know our girl does not like to waste footage especially not mukbang footage there's still actually that lost mukbang floating around girl Hey guys, so it is the next day. The lighting in here is really bad because I'm actually not starting this until it's about six. So, whoops. <laughs> I haven't really done much today. I Yesterday it was light out at six, girl. So now that we sprung ahead, it will be, but this is in the past. I slept in really late. I've been like working on my sleeping schedule, but I stayed up. I can't exactly see this spring ahead helping her sleep schedule, guys. Oh, Like, embarrassingly late last night, well, this morning, because I was binge-watching Making a Murderer, and I'm super tired, like, I could tell. It's okay, I only got a couple hours of sleep, but I'm totally fine with it. Um, Making a Murderer has completely... Wait, so she slept till what? like 3 to 5 p.m. in the afternoon. I don't really understand that schedule. Over my life, I am just that <laughs> docu-series. Double Ds, y'all. Just like it hurt my heart. And I have cried like a baby. Um, Haven't seen it. Eight of season one. I was sobbing and gasping for breath. I was crying. So That's kind of old though, right? Just, this is a ride. And I started season two last night. Well, this morning. <laughs> and it's just been intense. So I want to give you guys a little update on something. As you Don't run know, with scissors, girl. I've been saying how like I wanted to cut my hair and everything like that. And a lot of people want me to cut it up to here. Okay. It's is like she going to cut it herself? I've said this like before, but she should get... Um, someone to come and cut it for her. I'm sure she can find somebody. Like there's there's two sides to this that I've seen. Either cut it up to here or just trim it, just a little trim. Because there's some people who want me to keep my long hair. I've had long hair since probably since I was about 15. I think you should just trust your gut on this one, girl. I've had like really long hair. There was a time in between. Maybe that was inappropriate to say. Between that, when I was living in Virginia, I was about 22. Oh my gosh, old Amberlynn pictures. 
She was definitely like emo back in the day, girl. I can relate for sure. Reformed emo kids. I did cut my hair up to here. And my face structure then, like I looked pretty decent. Let me know if you guys had an emo phase in the comments down below. That was such a good time. I'm talking like 06 to 09. Um, I have gone back and forth between should I cut it up to here? Should I leave it? Should I like my brain? I used to go to so many shows. That was like the funnest thing to do, right? I saw Jeffree Star live before he was cosmetic famous or whatever you want to say. <laughs> Just crazy with it. So what I've been doing the last week, you guys are going to be like, what are you talking about? Every single day I cut off a little bit of my hair. You guys are probably like, okay, this is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. It literally started a week ago. I had a- Gotta ease into a girl baby steps. I never heard of anyone doing that before though. <laughs> Wild hair at my butt. I was watching these girls cut, cut their hair on YouTube. I kind of went down that rabbit hole on YouTube. And I- Oh my gosh, that's a good rabbit hole. Like shaving your head off. It, like something ignited inside of me and I was like- I'm never gonna do it unless I just do it without thinking. That's what a lot of these girls say. I don't wanna cut my hair super short. I don't, not right now. I don't know in the future, but the only way I'm going to cut it and cut off the- She's really using those blunt, like, just like craft paper scissors. Thin parts. You're gonna get split ends with those. Is if I just do it. But I was so scared to do a lot that I slowly just do it every day. And I wanna say, um, cause I just did some more. Um, Becky actually helped me this time. That makes me cringe to think of her cutting her hair with those like craft scissors. Because I like blunt cuts. So that's what I'm trying to aim for in the back. So I wanna say that in the last week, I've probably cut off about four to five inches of hair. So it already feels so much healthier and thicker. Um, I do have a lot more hair I need to cut. It still touches my butt, um, but I have cut a lot, you guys. Honestly, it's been crazy, but I just wanted to give you that update. Lighting in here, I, I, I goal is to get a lighting situation for- Girl, it's been how many years and you don't have a ring light yet? Come on, I don't understand it. Right here for days like this, so I don't I don't look super like dark and pixelated because I know exactly that. At least you got one more hour now, girl. Of sunlight. I look right now. Um, if I was using my camera, it wouldn't look like that. But since I'm not using my camera, so then why I'm didn't you camera, use it? This is how it's gonna look. So I do apologize. Hey guys, so it is the next day. My face is super red. I've been up. I'm just cleaning. We're actually gonna go do recycling, get a bite to eat, because Becky and I haven't ate today. We gotta do some grocery shopping, and I'm gonna bring my reusable bags. I think I got these Girl, from girl. Walmart, and I told It's good to see her using the things that she has purchased because she has a tendency to, you know, do that and then not. Like the water bottles, especially, is a big one. I just forgot I had them, even though they were hanging up right over there by the microwave. I used them a couple times when I first got them, but I'm gonna start using them again. Um, Girl, the tag's still on. I have three. They're pretty a decent. They're pretty decent size, and I just dropped one. Cute. And they have like a little. That's progress, you guys. I don't think she could bend over and pick something up off the floor like just a couple months ago. Buckle moment. Oh no! I just thought they were really cute instead of like. On the scale victories. Standard ones. I don't know. I wasn't in it to win it. I should probably take these off. I haven't done an outfit of the day in right. forever. This must have been the same day as her weigh in. Set those down. So, dress is from Torin. Cardigan is from Torin. And you guys know me. I'm just wearing black pants and 
those are from Walmart. I'm interested to see what she's going to do to drum up more attention because honestly, the saying it says, um, depending on what she wants to do with her channel, I mean, is she finally setting that aside and saying, you know what, I can buckle down, I can lose this weight on camera without causing controversy, but she's going to maintain less views as you guys can probably see by her current view count. It is lowering. Years and years ago, black flats from Walmart, hair tie from Walmart, and she isn't lying when she says she could just do mukbangs and make bucos and bucos of money. I thought maybe that was like just a thing, but she was saying, but judging by what she's doing now, she wasn't lying. Earrings, which I've never worn, and I love them. They're also from Walmart. Or are they? Well, she actually had a T on the end of that this time, guys. Small, no, non-scale victories. I don't remember. So we are at the mall, <laughs> which this mall is lame. But It looks like it, girl. It looks like it. Restaurant called Old Town Grill, so we're going to go there. I'm going to take you down to the Old Town Grill. I'm going to ride. Hopefully I don't get copy striked for that. Fried pickles. <sighs> that looks good. Amberlynn got some veggies. I'm eating my cheat eye. <laughs> Can't get over that. <laughs> switch your hat. Just want everybody to see my Waluigi hat. I like it, Becky. I thought that was Destiny. <laughs> Did she say something about Destiny? <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> that was pretty good. I fucking just like her. Anyways, Mark Kroger. Did she say that she looked like Destiny or something like that? And then yet, and then her face couldn't have been happier. Yikes. Um, it's nice to see them like enjoying a night out and it seems like Becky is in a good mood, right? Let's go do this thing. Chicken wing. Oh my god. See the thing is, normally if I don't eat Whoa. I just got to see. If I don't eat before She's like, Ooh. I go grocery Ooh. shopping. Oh, shit, hair gel, bags. free hair gel. Then I'll literally buy too much. But then, oh, those green lines, girl. If I eat before grocery shopping, I'm like a sluggy, oh. a sluggy mess. What? Some yeah, that's you everybody. Elevators by the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. But they say what you're supposed to eat before you grocery shop because then you're not gonna like buy a bunch of food that you wanna eat like right then, like junk food Doritos. Did you guys see she uploaded this at four o'clock in the morning? <laughs> Just a side note. How good these smell. Look at this cupcake one. Queen, dragonfly, turtles. We have ourselves I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't know. That one looks weird. But these literally smell so freaking good. Oh my goodness. I used to eat. With Girl, we don't need any more subs. Step away from the soap products. Probably flavored peas. Like an actual mad woman. And I don't think I've had them in years. Literally years. In the that was me with um, Ocean Spray Craisins. Those are really good. But I ate myself sick of them. You know when you do that, you love something so much, and then you just eat way too much of it, and then you're just done forever. sound of them does not sound good, but it's weird because I used to be obsessed. Like, that was my go-to snack. So, I was over here, and I was going to get this, and I had to talk myself out of it because you guys know how I am. And then I was just looking, and I was like... 
Non-scale oh. victory, you guys. <laughs> we did not need another water bottle. Good for her. Oh my goodness. Look at you guys. These are bamboo drinking straws. Oh, we don't have it's any of those. Like wood. I don't know. I just thought that was really neat. Hey guys. Whoop. So it is the next day. I am incredibly tired. I forgot to close the fridge. See? I saw a lot of people uh, when she did her grocery haul would talk, was talking about how she left the freezer door open the entire time which is definitely cringy and then her cats it looked like her cats were gonna jump in Whew. i just think that's because it takes a lot of energy for her to open up that freezer and she just needs to go back and forth and put the stuff in but it does take her quite a while to do so <laughs> but um i'm about to make a smoothie it's a recipe I've never done before, so I'm a little nervous. So I'm about to use this fruit medley, which has strawberries, mango, pineapple, peach, and grapes. I'm gonna put it in here, obviously. Yeah. Spinach. <laughs> Do we have to keep saying obviously? <laughs> uh, I think it looks like she was like out partying all night. That's kind of how she looks right now. And then she woke up and she still has her earrings and hair like the way it was last night. And I think that's a good look. I, from my memory, <laughs> don't remember ever using spinach in a smoothie. So nervous. I, I like that spinach. look like Kesha wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy kind of like, okay, I'm good to go. But next year ingredient, I do not like yogurt. I force myself to eat it. I gag kind of, but I'm hoping in a smoothie it'll not taste so bad. I was wondering why she was having her yogurt and she didn't even say this, but she probably should because it just doesn't make any sense. But someone told me in the comment section that she needs to get her probiotics on and that's why she's doing the Chobani yogurt, even though she doesn't like it because she was on antibiotics for so long. So all the bacteria is dead and she needs some good bacteria. So I'm also using this and then obviously water. <laughs> Also, in my last Chantal react, for some reason, I didn't even catch the fact that she showed two bottles of Vagisil on camera for no reason. <laughs> Girl, I don't understand why we have to see that. It's probably just for the shock value. She knows what she's doing. This is the riveting content that I subscribe for. Look at her getting those greens in there. When I do my smoothies, I don't put any greens in. <laughs> Just fruit. The gross part, but <sighs> I know it's good for you. It has those natural probiotics. She reminds me of that girl that was like on the Maury show because she hated mayonnaise and then they brought out a giant thing of mayonnaise and started chasing her around the studio with it. I mean, it's just yogurt. It's not that bad, right? It's vanilla yogurt. So it's really not that bad. I think that's good. So now I'm going to go add some water. So this is going to be a loud warming... Ooh, ooh, ooh. She got the industrial one, guys. That looks like a nice blender. Such a gross color. <laughs> so I'm actually just gonna drink it. Yeah, it's like brown. Eat it, cause it's like a... Yeah, she didn't put enough water in there. <laughs> Doesn't even move. Unless she wanted to eat it. This actually might be more satisfying for me. We'll see. I know you guys love a good taste test. 
right, here we go. <laughs> Girl, was that a troll? Oh, she didn't even show. She actually cut herself eating out of it. Girl. She's sewing us her appreciation, y'all. Wow. That's actually not bad. I'm going to get a straw and see if it works. I'm actually really surprised she did that. Here we go. It works through the straw, which I think I prefer it like that through the straw. So I got my birch box today. I realized out of birch box, Ipsy and Boxy Charm. Boxy Charm is my first favorite. She looks like way cleaner, you guys. I think that's worth mentioning. Non scale victories. <laughs> then Ipsy and then Birch Box, which I've said that before. So this is the box this She time. actually looks box right box here box. is like the best she's looked in a really long time. That's just my thoughts. Shampoo. This is the Love Shampoo from Divines. I've actually wanted to sh try this before. So yes, because this helps frizzy and coarse hair, which is mine. And we're working on that. This is Orebe or Oribe. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. It's hair plumping mousse, which I will not be using. So in this little box, we have Luna. It is a sleeping night oil that looks like this which i also will not be using this is huh? one of the very reasons why oh, i was like that. why did she buy it but then i forgot it's the birch box i'm going to cancel this subscription i keep saying i'm going to and i completely forget we have the lip ah. conditioner which i'm also going to try so in this box we have floss my new favorite lip gloss oh that's kind of cute looking I'm surprised she's actually like canceling it, you guys. Wow. Last thing is Wonder Beauty. It is a non scale lip victory and cheek thing you can use on your cheek or your lips <laughs> in double date. So for me, I feel like this honestly is a waste of money because I don't use right it's like this and it always comes with like oils and stuff. It's just because my face is super sensitive and I don't want to be breaking out. I am going to try. And you could buy a full size product that you know you actually want to use. The lip gloss, though. With that money. Oh my god, that smell. <gasps> that smells so good. Oh my god, it smells like coconut. Hmm. It smells incredible. So, as of today, Kentucky has their first. She said, Coronavirus. Patient. Um, Why did she cut that out? <laughs> um, Pennsylvania just had one, too, this past week, so. It makes me nervous. I have been washing my hands like a crazy. I have been following this since it first started happening. I can understand why she would be nervous because she has said that she has a compromised immune system. For me, for me, I don't really feel nervous about it. It's very worrisome, gall. Um, we just have to take, you know, our precautions, constantly wash our hands. Do get not it girl touch your face, yep. especially if you're out in public and stuff like just don't do it i wanted to go to the movies as you guys know and i just feel like that's such a populated place and like people are the case i actually saw the case that she's talking about is in lexington so it's not really uh it's on her side of the state right i don't really know how big kentucky is i mean i know like relatively right i don't think she should be afraid to go to the movies i think if she wants to go she should just go it's far enough away sitting close and like sneezing and who knows what they're doing that I'm not going to go to the movies because this is getting people who are elderly or already sick or have really bad immune systems. Those are the people who are most likely to get it, even though anyone can get it. And I mean, I have a compromised immune system. I know that just from, you know, being morbidly obese. But honestly, I, I guess you can't be too safe. And I mean, a movie is just a movie, right? There's always going to be another time to watch it. Just have the 
whole world in my thoughts and I hope that we can all like come together and figure this out and I want to say thank you to the president for actually trying to help with this situation. Let's just hope for a vaccine soon and I feel very sad for the people who have it and the people who've lost their lives and the family. I haven't kept up with what Donald Trump said about it, but I did watch a clip on Twitter, which I know can be misconstrued. Um, Twitter is another world, but just judging by the clip, he sounded really ignorant about it, but I don't really know. And it's just, it's a lot. Hey guys, next day. So I am so tired and I woke up with a scratchy throat because it was super cold in my room last night and usually that happens especially because we have a little fan running but <laughs> I'm like wheezing this happens okay but my goodness I'm super tired I didn't get much sleep trying to fix my sleeping schedule again I'm sure you guys beyond tired of hearing that so if you guys remember from yeah, a little bit. the weigh-in video, oh, she's gonna address the weigh-in. When I actually stepped on the scale, a lot of people thought like it was fake because I was wearing a dress and all of a sudden I was wearing a different one. Well, I yeah. want to show you guys what actually happened. So I wasn't sure because my stomach's really big that if I stepped on the scale, if you guys would be able to see the weight with me wearing a dress. So what I did was all I did was tucked it. So what you guys saw was my fat stomach. And I happened to just edit that part out. That's why I have to say I am actually believing her. I think that it was a real way in. I mean the number wasn't unrealistic. She does seem more mobile. She does look like she lost some pounds. So I am on the side of actually believing her. You guys saw a jump cut because I accidentally showed a little bit on my stomach. So then I was like this, and then I stepped on. It's just unfortunate. That was that, so. She should know by now that if people see anything off, people are gonna question it. I almost wish I would have put that scene in there and maybe like edited out my stomach, but that's exactly what I did. I don't know. So, as you guys know, I love me a good lotion. All right, I believe you, girl. Do you guys remember, I will never forget her putting that cleanser on her face and then not washing it off. And you guys know I want to go to Bora Bora. So, Eric was at Bath and Body Works. And you think we'll ever get that Bora Bora vlog, guys? And look at what he found. Bora Bora. Moisture. Wait, Eric was at Bath and Body Works again? I thought he was going to wait a couple months before going back. That's the real tea here. Sure. What's he doing in there? That is a problem. So he got it for me. Sorry, I, that was like melodramatic. Oh my God, it smells so good. It's very citrusy. It's Bora Bora Citrus Surf. Mm. So here is my do new addition to my succulent family. Succulent. <laughs> I actually got this from Walmart. They're so cute. They're cute. I've always been a plant slash succulent. I hate how I say that. I know everyone else says too, so I apologize. <laughs> Is she not going to attempt to say succulent? I don't know. Go off. They're all fake, right? They look good, though. Type of gal. Like, I've had all these. Is that one fake, too? That's not fake, right? for years and it years. does look look at all those candles you guys my goodness i guess that's not too bad compared to eric cook's it's really not like that bad but i don't know it couldn't be me i'm bit on like a little bit of a minimalism kick i do like her succulents though i might want to get one of those myself it just i feel like it makes a room like super fresh i don't know love it greg over here this is where i sat him for now because i just don't know what to do with him oh my god i got a dust but i feel like he made himself a cute little home right here but is that her favorite picture of herself <laughs> it's gotta be up there guys look at this twinkie pics oh so i think it is that time 
to remove this crazy nail polish. Just... I really like that she took the time to do something nice in this room because it has so much potential. It does not look cute. And I definitely need to repaint my nails. I saw a lot of comments about the Marriott of puzzles. You can see them now. The boxes of puzzles. I really don't understand her puzzle obsession recently. It just it doesn't seem entertaining to me. But if that keeps her mind busy, keeps her mind busy. For sure, for sure. I have so many clothes I have to put away. Don't get me started on Just that. give half of them to Dana. But, yeah, I just have a lot of things I have to do. So. I don't know why I smelled that. I, I like the smell of it. I think it smells like super good. That's just my opinion. <laughs> Girl. So we're going to go from. We're not sniffing Sharpies now, are we? That craziness. To this, to bam. Ooh. I don't know. I'm not the Go best off. nail polish putter on her, but I try. <laughs> so this is Essie in Forever Yummy 488. Got the yummy. <laughs> yes, I um, love it. That song gets way too much hate. It's such a good song. You guys are liars. I'm just a beaver. I love him. He's great. So I just want to say the sparkling ice orange mango, my least favorite, my least favorite. I'm still going to try to drink it so I don't waste it. I know she thinks she's doing something by drinking those, but they're not seltzer water. It's not the same thing as LaCroix or bubbly. It's basically diet soda, but hey, it's diet soda, right? But it's just it has a certain like flavor to it that i just can't get down with like it i just had the bang cola disgusting so bad it tastes like orange and it doesn't taste like mango i don't i don't know what i'm drinking but nope 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 hey guys so it is the next day guys we gotta get that vitamin d she's out there guys i am out of breath my heart's beating really fast. It feels really good outside, so I took advantage and I walked. So I did do a time lapse. So I'll show that right now. Look, she has Twinkie outside, guys. She's doing like everything that's actually highly requested in this vlog, like canceling her Marriott of subscription boxes, Twinkies outside, getting some exercise, she is as well. I hope she's not, oh she is, wearing those ballet flats. Why? Why? Wow, she walked a lot. It looks like she's skating. But Eric let me use his iPad so I could time it and I walked for 15 minutes. Non-stop. Longer, but first of all, I don't want to overdo it. <laughs> and I do have exercise induced asthma. I know a lot of people deal I do with that. Too. And I had really bad asthma when I was in elementary school. Like it I was did too. bad. Always had an inhaler with me. But then I became more like immobile and I didn't do as much. So like I didn't need it. But every time I exercise, like let's be honest, I haven't exercised in a couple of years like this because I wasn't able to. I wasn't able to walk for more than a minute, you know? But now that I can, I feel it happening again. I start wheezing. It just feels like right here, it feels- That's frustrating. Like that wheezy. It's just like another roadblock and it's just medical issues. That's unfortunate. But I know where she's coming from. I, if I exercise outside and it's a brisk day, like it'll come back. My asthma will come back. But for some reason, if I'm inside or if it's nice weather out, I don't have a problem. Dry, 
like that type of feeling, you know, I'm sure people with asthma totally relate. Anyways, I'm so proud and it feels so good. It's like 65 degrees and spring is coming or is it already here? I don't know. It's not yet. Oh, so I'm about to make lunch. I have really no idea what I'm doing, but I'm going to make pasta. So I'm actually going Eric, get out. to measure out three servings of this, which is one and one fourth cups dry because I'm doing this for three meals and we need a large zucchini. Is zucchinis like back in, I was gonna say back in motion. What is it called? In season. Uh, is it zucchini time? Because I've been looking for zucchinis <laughs> for a long time. And I guess, none. girl. Like ever. I don't know. <laughs> and we're gonna use some diced tomatoes and green chilies. Like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. And for the meat, we're gonna have chicken sausage links. This is spinach, gruyere, gruyere, I don't know. So Are I'm we doing like a meal prep situation? I'm gonna cut this and this in cubes. Start boiling this water. Open this can. I mean, everything is pretty explanatory. So I'm gonna cook it all and then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like at the end. So here it is. It looks super freaking delicious. It looks so I'm dry. Put it in these three containers. One is for now, and then one she is, is a dry girl, right? For tomorrow, and one is for the next day. Oh my god, I'm so excited! It smells. Wow, look at us using the things that we bought. What is this vlog? It's like her maturity has gone up quite a bit. Amazing! Yay! 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 Now I'm about to grow grub on this. Dive grow grub. <laughs> Go grub on this, and then I'm gonna let these cool off before I put on the lids. And if you're wondering why I put this in this container, even though I'm about to eat it, because it is a lot easier, sorry, <laughs> to um, like measure out and make sure it's all even and stuff if I'm using the same containers. So I, for I forgot to say legit. that I added no salt besides tapatio because I wanted it to be spicy. And I used garlic powder instead of garlic salt. Like, it depends. Like, sometimes I'll use garlic salt if I'm just... You don't want no sauce on it, girl? Having, like, a lean meat, which like a chicken. But if I'm eating a sausage, which, which already has sodium, then that I has some sauce. add the sodium. So I used garlic powder, onion powder, and pepper, which those are very, like, sodium-free. Like, maybe five milligrams, if that. Um, but I did use... Tapatio because I wanted it spicy and I'm sure you guys can tell my lips are a little red because I added a lot But it's really good. guys the so, Kylie Jenner lip challenge Well, I kind of wanted to <laughs> talk about something that I have been seeing in comments uh -oh. and messages Um, I've also noticed Okay, my views are getting lower and Ooh. I was like, I, oh, why? You know, because as a YouTuber, you're just like, okay, what am I doing wrong? What can I do differently? But then, what is it? Is it that she's like not trolling? <laughs> I don't know. Are people more interested in Chantal and Amy's life journey right now? What is it, guys? I'm not sure either. And I started seeing the comments and I started seeing the messages. And she's just boring, are, right? Saying I'm boring all oh. of a sudden out of thin air. <laughs> Amberlynn Crystal Ball. I mean, a lot of people like already thought I was boring, but all of a sudden, more and more people are calling me boring and they're saying that they're not watching me and like drama isn't like around me right now and <laughs> I'm not entertaining people. And I'm over here just like, this happens like every single time I start losing weight. And I usually only lose like 10 pounds and then I gain it back, but that can't be like a good motivator, but I understand where she's coming from. I mean, some people just are here for the drama. Now that I'm on like a true weight loss journey, everyone's no, leaving. weight loss channel, but it's something I want to share. Not a weight loss channel, guys. It is a pivotal moment in my life right now and something that I'm really 
trying to aim for. I'm trying to strive for a better future for myself and for the people around me. My girlfriend, my fur babies, like that's just very important to me. And I'm doing this for me. That's number one. And for the people and my fur babies who love me and who I love back. And I know there's a lot of you who like care about me and you guys have always been there to push me, telling me you need to lose weight, you need to do this, you're gonna die, you're gonna die. I know she has more likes on this video than dislikes, but yeah, the views aren't as good as they used to be. It is an interesting position to be in as a YouTuber because she has to let herself first, but it is what she's doing as a job right now. And I hated hearing it, but it's like reality. You usually don't want to hear the hard, cold truth. And that's what people have been wanting from me is weight loss weigh-ins, this and that. Show that journey. And it's like, again, I'm not doing it for you guys, but it's like something you guys have been wanting. So it's like, we both win. But now all of a sudden that I am doing it, People are like, oh my gosh, she's so boring, how lame, I'm unsubscribing, oh my gosh, she's not getting as many views. It hurts. You can still, like, have drama and lose weight. <laughs> I'm not sure what she wants here. People find my journey boring. and it's If you don't want all of my journey, even the boring parts, you can just hit the road kind of strange this is for me that's what you guys have been wanting but it doesn't bother me regarding the views i i want you guys to know that 100 like, maybe it's less people arguing in the comments because a lot of views are from people clicking back on the video to talk in the comments so if your comment section isn't popping views are down like youtube has graced me with a very nice income but I have realized my health is far more important I used to not think that way I used to be money hungry and I think a big part of it wow I can't believe she's actually admitting to that you guys wow Ooh, we saw it girl we saw it well I know a big part of it is I didn't have money growing up at all when i lived with my parents poor and when we did have money they spent it on drugs and that's just kind of you know reality for that and i never had anything you know i had one pair of pants i had a sweater i wore every day i didn't have anything and then when i was in foster homes obviously i didn't have anything like those foster homes weren't my homes do you get what i'm saying that's mm -hmm. honestly just the experience i went through as a foster kid so and that and makes a lot of sense that she would now feel the need to overspend and overindulge and you know get a lot of clothes now that i was finally getting all this money and i was able to do what i wanted with it well within limits overdo it would this be like her main plot point on 600 pound life possibly what i really want is to be swimming in bora bora but we can't be doing that right now so i had all this you know money and i was feeding into it and i wanted more and more and more so i find ways to reach an audience that would give me that kind of money um, it was by far the worst when I first moved to Kentucky and you guys know that you saw it yourself. I would purposely do things and title my videos in. I would purposely, purposely try to make myself a train wreck. Like really? more so than I already am in actuality, but it's, it's just not about that no more. It's really, really not. I know that once i lose weight i can get a she's nice really weight. admitting to trolling us for all those years wow normal job if i have to youtube has taken up a lot of my life and a lot of my time and a lot of the energy that i had which i didn't have a lot of it this has been my only consistent thing in my whole life um has been youtube I haven't had anything consistent, you guys, in my whole entire life. And YouTube has been, 
has been the only thing. That's like so crazy to me. So when I started making a lot of money, I was like, okay, girl, I'm gonna feed into this. And I realized that my health Play the is game. so much more important. And yes, it wow. hurts that the people who have been following me clearly were here just for the train wreck as aspect. And now that I'm not so much like drama and like all this stuff, I'm not getting as many views. That's okay. But what hurts me is the people who I thought really wanted to see me change and those people are no longer wanting to be a part of my life and that makes me sad for the people who are still who is she talking about i wonder to stick around for like comment it sounded like someone you know personal not just like commenters i'm not sure whatever future on youtube that i have i i really do appreciate that i just want better things for myself and I know I've made mistakes, <laughs> things that I can't change. And oh, Amber, you can turn it around. You're on such a good upswing. I could, I would. And they eat at me every day. And I just, I have forgiven myself, but I don't think I've forgiven myself like all the way. And I know I'm not the person that people make me out to be. So I think that's something I can hold on to. And I just, I'm excited for my future and the future I could possibly have. And I She's just, changing. I want people to see that growth because it's important to me. Because people were around for... Girl, I think you can turn it around, but it's not going to be overnight. It's not just going to be a couple weeks because you've been trolling for years. The bad times. I also want people to be around for the good times. So... I'll still watch, even though... Even if I don't make any videos, I'll still watch. Rambling <laughs> is my forte. Um... I think I'm just gonna end this vlog. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I need to like stop talking or I'm just gonna keep crying. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see you in my next one, bye. All right, what did you guys think of Amber Lynn's brand new vlog? Is she turning over a new leaf? I think this is a new Amber Lynn that we haven't seen in forever for her to actually come on and admit that she's been trolling admit that what she's been doing wrong actually making tangible steps in the right direction that we can physically see with our own eyes it's really different from anything else we've really seen from her so let me know if you guys buy into it what do you think let me know in the comments down below and i will of course catch you guys in the <gasps> Next one. Bye, guys.